Hello, we're at Seagraph 2018 in Vancouver, and I'm happy to say that we have welcomed as a very special guest today, Marty Romances. Hello, Marty. Hello. Thank you, you guys for doing? joining us. Oh, my pleasure. Uh, Marty is the creative director and co-founder of Territory Studios, and you guys started in London. That's correct, yeah. Uh, and you also have a full facility in San Francisco now. Yep. Yes, and you are based primarily in San Francisco. Uh, our London, uh, myself, I am, and our London office is still like the biggest office because it was the one like where we started everything. Yes. Uh, but yeah, myself, I am now down in San, in Francisco. San Francisco. I'm working with um, LA a lot, of course, as you will imagine. Yes, <laughs> of course. Uh, and I'm sure everyone is familiar with Territory Studios, but recent projects include some little pictures like Guardians of the Galaxy, Blade Runner 2049, uh, Avengers Infinity War. Uh, and can we talk about what you're working on right now? Yes, we're working on a couple of Netflix shows, um, another films that we cannot yet uh, yes, disclose. Yes, no, that's but we always just, the... Uh... Yeah, we just have uh, Mile 22, which is one of the recent, uh, most recent productions, mm -hmm. and uh, that's coming out in a couple of days. Okay, great. And uh, we've just been doing some work with Ad Astra, which is another film with Brad Pitt and Tommy Lee Jones uh, okay. coming out at the end of the year. Oh, great, very exciting. Yeah. Uh, and we wanted to talk a little bit today about an interesting project that you worked on with Adobe, um, uh, with Adobe XD. Do you want to share that with the class? Yeah, look, uh, I mean, we always been creating these user interfaces and, and, and these designs with um, our tools and mm -hmm. we are used to it and our artists, which is our you know main force of talent, uh, are very good at. Uh, Adobe approached us with uh, this software, which is Adobe XD, and that's used mainly uh, to prototype up to date, to prototype for uh, web apps and, and mobile apps. And it's an interactive um, software that allows you to design um, different interactive pieces. So they wanted us to apply the same degree of detail and um, all the knowledge that we get from the film uh, pipeline. Uh, using that software. So it was a great experiment, I would say. We learned a lot from how a new software can help us at the end of the day, uh, improve our pipelines. And um, yeah, it's something we had to learn uh, yes. from it. And uh, I would say they learned from it as well. No, I was about to say, uh, those right. real world applications and where you ran into problems, where you ran into successes, what you'd want in a future iteration, that's great information. Yeah, we discovered a new tool that literally, if without that case study, without that experiment, mm -hmm. we will never have um, discovered that we can actually improve some parts of our pipeline thanks to Adobe XD. And, and again, as I was saying, uh, th that served them as, a, as another extra point of reference on how people from other industries mm -hmm. could benefit from this software. Um, and I think that's, that's very beneficial from a software developer point of view for yes. them. Uh, and was this um, was this available? The the Terminator reimagining was it available to anyone outside to see, or was this strictly an internal? No, we we did put together like the project, uh, and it's out there. Uh, you can download it. It's on on the Adobe XD websites, and okay, you can great. check on Behance as well, and click at the link. And that's the nice thing about it. We put something together that now people can open in XD and yes. can play with it and can create their own versions of it. Oh, excellent. And I think that's, uh, you know, for the community, it's, it's nice because sometimes it's true that we cannot share uh, this IP that we're creating for these big studios. Yes. In this case, you know, we created just because of mm -hmm. we wanted people to experiment with it. Yes, so and now they can use it a little bit of a sandbox <coughs> exactly, uh, without yeah. the pressure of screwing up a real world project. Yeah, no, can't wait to see what people do, you know, oh. can do with it. It's going to be very interesting. That's very exciting. Uh, and while I have you here, also going to uh, pick your brain a little bit about uh, the show this year from your perspective. <coughs> yeah. uh, any conferences or talks that you have uh, found Im especially impressive or interesting? Well, I, I've been actually talking for um, Max and Cinema 4D mm -hmm. as, as one of our um, main softwares that we use in 3D. And, mm -hmm. uh, well, Bab was sitting in that chair about half an hour ago. It's a, oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. I love Bo. <laughs> I love Bo. I know. So it's amazing how these guys every year they're pushing mm -hmm. um, for this package that is so important to so many artists in, in this industry. Uh, and uh, I'm very excited about the new fills and the new volumes that, that they the new, can... The uh, volume modelers. Yeah, yeah. And everything, it's, it's moving uh, to a very rapid pace. And sometimes for artists, you really need to be a bit picky about what you're going to spend your time improving or learning mm -hmm. because so much happening that you really want to um, identify what's more useful for us to, to get into it. 
So Cinema 40, is, it's been amazing. Uh, the show is it's, it's truly incredible. We've been able to talk with some of the render engines that we use every day, and even some of the render farms that help us uh, catch up with uh, what's next with NVIDIA and, and, right. other, and other people. So it is very amazing. And also discovering new techniques and new, uh, you know, new things. Talking down there uh, with all our friends from DNEC and um, MPC and all, all of these, uh, you know, VFX houses that we work with. Yes. And, uh, well, this is like is the really, clubhouse for you. It's a once it a year is. chance to kind of get together with. I know. Uh, we, 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 we're looking forward every year to be here and, and you know, catch up with everyone. Mm -hmm. And have they, you know, the, the, any trends from the show that, that you uh, think will have an impact on, on your work where you've really gleaned some? I mean, we've seen, and I think over the last years, how VR and AR is being like, taking a space on this industry and yes. how it's kind of a taking. We do, we, we just uh, finished now a VR experience for uh, Jurassic World and uh, we're, we're learning a lot as well on how we implement um, our techniques into this new medium. Uh, so here, getting to know people like Ventus that can help us mm -hmm. getting, um, you know, simplifying our pipelines uh, from, from design to interactive builds. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's, it's very interesting. It's just it's useful for us. It makes our life way easier. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a good result. Yeah. To oh yeah. Time is time is, is gold. Time is gold. <laughs> <laughs> well, Marty, it was lovely meeting you, and thank oh, you for joining us today. I really appreciate it. No, likewise, my pleasure. And uh, that's us. We're signing off from Seagraph 2018. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys.